Welcome back to Locked On NHL's extensive coverage of the 2022 NHL Draft. I'm Gil Martin of Locked On NHL. With me, Brandon Piller of Locked On Senators. He is our prospects expert and the Winnipeg Jets adding Rutger McGroarty in the first round of the draft. Uh, Brandon, good pick, bad pick. What does he bring to the Winnipeg Jets? I'm a big fan of Rucker McGordy myself. He's yet another player from the U.S. National Team Development Program that goes in the first round here. He's got a good frame at 6 feet, 205 pounds. He's able to play a power forward type game. He's committed to the University of Michigan. We all know that they have a lot of success, and that's a great development program. So if you're the Winnipeg Jets, knowing he's going to be there, that definitely puts your mind at ease. And there's so much to like about him. Like he's, he's one of those guys I like to describe as the perfect guy you want to have the puck on his stick on a two on one, because he is such a heavy shot that he can beat goalies cleanly. If the defenseman decides to cheat towards the pass, but he's also got great vision and he can make that pass as well and help out his teammates. I think he's going to be someone that uh, is ready for the NHL sooner than most because of his size. And then you add in his hockey IQ because he can play defense as well. He's not just an all offense type of player. He uses that size to play an effective game defensively as well. And the Winnipeg Jets, they love uh, working through the middle. You look at their team right now, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Mark Scheifele, uh, Paul Stastny, and they've traded away uh, other centermen also. So they love to get their middle of their ice figured out. And then they have the scoring on the wings when you get guys like Kyle Connor, Nikolai Ehlers that can finish the job that those big centermen start when transitioning the puck up the ice. Now, the biggest knock that I've heard about him is his skating ability. I know he's been working on it. Your thoughts about that and and how much work he needs to do on that at Michigan in order to reach the NHL. I think if you're the Jets and you know he's going to Michigan, you know he's going to get a big boost in his skating because that's one of the, there's some college programs out there that teams are very comfortable letting players kind of marinate there a little bit longer because they know the uh, the pro level development that they're able to have. And University of Michigan certainly is one of those places. And I would agree, probably the skating is the biggest knock on him. But when you're a guy that's six feet over 200 pounds as a young prospect, usually that's where you lack and it takes a a very good skating coach to kind of work on your stride work on where you're uh, using your size and being more of kind of a powerful skater rather than focusing on acceleration and stuff like that and Rucker McGordy, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to be able to do that. And I think the Winnipeg Jets, like they seem to do every year, Gil, have a great player fall to them in the middle of the draft. And um, if you're Kevin Shovel Day off here, you're looking at your team right now as pretty solid and your prospect pipeline is very solid as well. So on paper, the Winnipeg Jets are in a great spot, if you ask me. All right, well, should be some exciting times at Yost Ice Arena and in, in a few years at Winnipeg. Brandon, thank you so much.